Welcome to Ms. Update, the channel for all things motocross. From the latest news to exclusive content, we've got you covered. Whether you're a seasoned rider or a fan of the sport, we'll bring you the stories that matter most. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. The final results from the Monster Energy Supercross race in Seattle suggests the season is turning into a two-rider battle as Eli Tomac scored his sixth win of the season to tie Cooper Webb for the points lead and Chase Sexton crashed in yet another race. In the past two weeks, Eli Tomac lost his momentum and with it the Monster Energy Supercross red plate to Cooper Webb, but a gutsy performance in Seattle gave him a sixth win of the season as he and the series heads into an off-week tide. Tomac suffered with a stiff neck in Indianapolis two weeks ago when he lost the red plate to Webb for the first time in 2023. In that race, he scored his worst finish of the season in eighth. He lost more points in Detroit after finishing a distant third behind Chase Sexton and Webb. This is the fifth time this season that Tomac and Webb finished 1-2 in a race. Tomac has won them all, but Webb has been more consistent. Tomac downplayed the neck strain that caused him to lose the red plate for two weeks, but without that holding him back, it would appear it might have been a bigger problem than he admitted. Despite finishing on the podium in Detroit, Tomac has not shown the late race strength everyone has come to expect. He was in a slump after scoring a season worst in Indianapolis and described his sixth win as a bounce back. At Seattle, Eli was part of yet another huge battle early in the race, going at it with Webb, Ken Roxen and others before unlocking the right lines and taking over second. Then Chase Sexton fell from the lead yet again, and Tomac was clear to snag the victory. Eli can't really focus on that, though, because he's also tied for the points lead with Cooper Webb right now. Eli won't even talk about the idea of winning a third Supercross title, because there's too much work to do right now in order to get that done. He spoke about all of it after the race in the post-race press conference. I think everyone somewhat looks forward to this weekend off, we've been going wide open for however many weeks now. So yeah, spend some time with the family at home. But before you know it, we'll be right back into it. With this win, Tomac tied James Stewart for second on the all-time list with 50 career Supercross victories. Six rounds remain and there is no sign that Tomac is slowing down. Jeremy McGrath's 72 wins remains untouchable, for the moment at least. Supercross races are on hiatus this week, and will resume on April 8th, in Glendale, Arizona. That gives everyone time to recuperate and have more time to get fit. What do you think Tomac and Webb are equal in points? Please let us know.